Thank you for stopping by another Thermal Video Review, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers United Cybertron Universe Windblade. She is an exceptionally awesome figure. I am trying to refrain from using the words delicious, but <clears throat> she's pretty damn good. Um, the All Spark Blues, her colorization, her details are absolutely awesome. Taking a look at her legs with the all spark blue and the gunmetal on that red is amazing. Her arms, abdomen, chest plate is awesome. The gunmetal in her wing pieces, yes, I do turn the VTOLs around so you can see the gunmetal. And most importantly, her face sculpt and paint is exquisite. Something to be mindful, I did ship a little bit on her chin because the collar is too high tilt her head to get her 360 with no problem. Now she does have a good up, good down, again side to side with a little bit of wiggle woggle for a little bit of that sass, just enough to just give her that little pizzazz. Um, for her other articulation we have 360 on the arms, she has a Bicep swivel, 90, a little under 90 degrees on the elbow. It's a shame, but not bad. Uh, 360 on a wrist rotation. She has a waist rotation. She has about that far on the forward, that far on the back. She has outward movement with both arms and the legs, since I didn't show it the first time. Uh, she has... 90 degrees on the knee, and you can cheat it a little bit and get a little bit further, but that's transformation joint. She has a little bit of down on her foot, a little bit of up, not much. She does have good ankle tilt. No rotation, unfortunately. Um, her wings can go up, down, back, do whatever you want with them. I kind of just boop that. Um, she comes with two accessories, one being her head crest fan thing with a plug on this side. She has a special cutout, which I don't know if you're gonna see it, but it's right there in the palm of her hand. So when you put it in, there's that cutout. So she can hold her fan and get some really neat poses with it. I thought that was a nice touch. It is five millimeters, so she in width, so anyone can really hold it like a key. And then she has a, a slot in the back of her head. Again, I've said it before, that's the only time I've ever condoned a hollow head is when there's a slot for an actual accessory. Her sword is transparent purple painted black. I, I really don't want to say it's transparent purple because I, this is transparent clear clear. I think that they actually tinted this and then painted this. It's my theory because it's beautiful. And it's a good little accessory. And it also kind of looks like a VTOL and a foot. But anyways, <laughs> she can hold or store her sword on her thigh via these ports right there on either side. She does have great range of motion where she can literally reach her sword. She can grab her sword, turn her head, not rub her chin and get a nice good striking like she's actually trying to but I'll have that in the articulation montage bring down her her sword can come right out of the, the clip and as you saw I did not even disconnect her hand off the blade and now she can wield her sword like a warrior should <laughs> it's quite nice actually um she is a very, very poseable little figure.
transformation. Now, her transformation is relatively easy. You can bring her legs, or her legs, use her legs, mm, wings down, go to her backpack, split it, bring it up and over. Now, oh, and the shoulder pads do get out of the way, so you can have them up for robot mode slightly like this, but for transformation, you bring her shoulders down, a click, bring her wings down a little bit more, keep her head straight, bring this up and over. She has two ports on either side of her neck that these pegs right here will go into. That clips in. Then what you're gonna do is straighten out the nose cone, extend on these double hinges, the nose piece, collapse her face, hide that beautiful bean footage apparently, uh, bring her wings up enough. Now, she's gonna have these pegs here to hold on to. Very, very <laughs> wind blady. Now, what we're gonna do is rotate her at the waist, bring up her uh, ankle fins, bring up her inner ankle fins, and bring down her toesies. Then we're going to clip her legs together, flip over this entire panel here on her inner calves, and then there's going to be that slot with those tabs on both legs, there it is. And just clip those on there. But this is very cyclonous and I like it. You're gonna take these double hinges, there's a hinge here where that pinhole is, and that pin there. What we're gonna do is not untap everything. Shift this entire double piece up and over that way. Then you're gonna take her hands and grab onto the posts. There's this tab right here on the wing that's gonna go into that slot right there in the knee, cover. And then what we're gonna do is rotate the VTOL so the silver's up. And then come down here and bring down her landing gear there. She has these landing fins. Windblade in her vehicle mode. She is an awesome little jet. Very gorgeous. Same stuff you've seen in robot mode, just in different order. Um, she is very, very red. <laughs> Seems to be the theme. But she is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, her VTOLs can rotate so she can have flying or vertical takeoff. And the neat thing with the sword, it's its own pet uh, effects parts. I don't know why I wanted to say apex parts. <laughs> effects parts. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the sword and put it fin side up like so. So this way the swoopy curvy side is facing down. There are ports. Gives her sword a place to store and give her, you know, a swooshy kind of effect. Hang on one sec. It gives her a beautiful silhouette and a nice good curve to the, the tail here for the flame effect. My final thoughts are, should you get one? Yes. Yes, you should. If you're a fan of her character and her development throughout the series and her creation and fan base, yes get yourself one. Windblade will not disappoint. She is an awesome, awesome figure. Again, that head sculpt is absolutely beautiful. She is one of the best cyber bursts. She has a presence that is amazing and wonderful. Anywho, that is my thoughts on Transformers United Cyberverse Windblade. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And remember, please, find to each other, love each other, stay safe, stay happy, be healthy, love y'all, love your faces. Bye.